Today on Hot News, we'll tell you what can sabotage you at an interview before you even open your mouth. Isaac Newton may have been the greatest scientist of all time, but let's hope he was wrong about one prediction. Our game of the week will have you hitting the ceiling. I'm pretty psyched, and it's not because 10,000 BC is coming out this weekend. It's because a new episode of Hot News is coming out right now. When it comes to finding a job, some people assume that they'll have an inbox full of offers within a week of their resume going out. But the average job hunt actually takes four months. That's according to the employment agency Challenger Gray and Christmas. Challenger Gray and Christmas? That can't be real. Huh. I'll be damned. Anyway, the point is, start your search early. Looking for a job is kind of like looking for a date. If you wait until you're desperate, you're going to end up with one you're not so thrilled with. Usually when you drive your car into the water, which I know you guys do all the time, it means you put a little too much faith in your GPS system. But with the new scuba, it's all good. This car doubles as a boat. Did I say boat? I meant submarine. Yep, this thing can dive up to 32 feet underwater. Just make sure you don't wear any nice clothes since it is a convertible. Sadly, the company says it has no plans to put the scuba into production. So if you want one, don't hold your breath. Universities around the country are introducing gender neutral housing. That's where a male and a female can share a suite or even a room. But is that a good idea? I think gender neutral dorms should definitely be allowed. Just strictly from a, a logistical standpoint, I think that would be more trouble than it would be worth. If the parents are not paying, then who cares what they think? But if they are, then their opinion matters. I'm gay and I have a lot of um, girlfriends who I would like to live with. And I'd probably feel more comfortable living with them than living with another guy. <laughs> I would like to live with someone of the opposite sex personally, but I'm not allowed to, so I never really fought it, but um, if I had that option, I would probably choose it. A lot of students feel like Lauren from Vanderbilt, at least until they have to share a bathroom. It can get ugly real fast. What are you afraid of if you have clinophobia? The answer in just a minute. Don't worry, it's not scary. So what are you afraid of if you have clinophobia? You're petrified of beds. Clinophobics experience anxiety about hitting the hay because of potential nightmares, or worse, wetting the bed. One word, depends. There are many things that can sabotage you at a job interview. A swear word tattooed across your knuckles, drunken karaoke videos on your MySpace page, or having ever worked for hot news. Just kidding. But one you may not be aware of is your body language. Greg Hartley, author and body language expert, explains. About 85% of everything you say is not with words. It's with the tone of your voice, with your body language, with how you sit, with the way you look at someone. When you go to a job interview, one of the first things to remember is the younger you are, the more energy you're liable to have. And that energy will leak through things called adapters. For those of us who aren't up on our body language lingo, adapters means fidgeting. You may play with your neck if it's a woman, or if it's a guy, you may wring your hands or rub your thighs. And that's a release of energy that shows that you're uncomfortable. You need to learn to mask those. So remember, if you're squirming more than a two-year-old watching C-SPAN, they may not want you to manage the big account. Isaac Newton, the inventor of calculus, is generally agreed to be a pretty smart guy. So maybe we should be mildly worried that he predicted the world would end in the year 2060. Newton used the book of Daniel to determine that the apocalypse would come exactly 1,260 years after the founding of the Holy Roman Empire. But don't panic. Newton said it was possible that the end would come later than 2060. So we've got a while to get ready. Are you feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders? And Manifold, that is not an issue. You start each level with an orb. Click where you'd like to toss it, drag in the direction you want gravity to flow, and presto! You can walk up walls, cling to ceilings, or send yourself flying skyward. Manifold is clever enough to hold your interest and easy enough to make you feel like you must be pretty smart. But I have a question. What is up with the ears? Are you like a rabbit or something? 
Think you're funny? Want 500 bucks? Sick of rhetorical questions? Well, Hot News is looking for a sign-off I can end every episode with. For example, good night and good luck. But something with a little more sass. So hit us with your best shot at feedback at hotnews.tv. Well, that's it for today. So long, everybody.